so I don't know how good the quality is on here. It doesn't look very good. Um, I'm using my iPad. <laughs> I feel like a dork because it's this giant thing. Um, Darcy's playing with his toy right now. Where Where is he? Why can't I see him? There we go. I'm not used to figuring out the angles on here. This is the first time I filmed, filmed on my iPad. I've had it for um, quite a while. I got it. My parents gave it to me for my graduation present. Uh, I guess that would have been... How long ago was that? June after I was 18. Almost, almost two and a half years ago. So that's a long time. I didn't realize it's been that long. Wow, I'm old. <laughs> um, but... The reason I'm filming on here is because I have zero space left on my phone. Like, I can not even take a picture at this point. So I'm filming on here. And hopefully that'll be okay. I only have, what is this, 16 gigs, I think? Um, it could be 8. I can't remember for sure. But I am currently trying to get... Uh, a bunch of footage off of my phone um, and onto my computer and publish vlogs, which is what's going on right here. This is a uh, vlog for November 6th. I am way behind. Today is December 2nd, I believe. December 2nd? Let's see if I can tell on my phone. Nope, doesn't say. Because I am uh, uploading videos onto Amazon Drive or Cloud or whatever it's called. And the reason for that is because my Google Drive on my phone is a pain in the butt and it hardly works. Like, it, I can't see all the videos and it's just really confusing. I don't know what's up with my phone. So, I can't wait to get my new phone in like 9, 10 months. I'm still kind of a ways out. I got my 6, um like less than a month after it came out I think I didn't get it like on the first day because I wasn't like Arr! like a lot of people were but I was like hey you know I think I think I'm gonna get it because I had the 4s so I was like three generations behind at that point and I needed a new phone because my old one had zero space like this one does now but that wasn't even with my vlogging being a month behind so I am trying to get all those off my phone onto my computer and then I can delete them and then I'll have space to vlog again because I also have to get videos from Andrew because he has them so I'm probably gonna have him upload them have him upload them to drive and then share the folder with me I don't know I didn't make up today even though I wasn't really planning on doing anything uh, and look at I did a little wing I think this one's better no they're about the same Wow, that's crazy. But I used, um, I revealed two and three palettes, and did I even use the, yeah, I did use the two a little bit, um, for the inner eye, the inner corner highlight, because the revealed three doesn't really have anything, but revealed two is really purple, and three is, has a lot of, um, browns, and so all the browns, like the crease, the transition shade, those are all from the three, as well as this really shimmery gold, which isn't appearing as shimmery as it is in real life. Um, those are all from the three. And the, the brow bone color, I believe, is from the three as well. But they didn't have a shimmery highlight. So, and then I'm using, I'm actually wearing a lip gloss. So I got two lip glosses in boxes recently um, by Mana Kadar, I think is the brand. And they're both lip locked priming lip stains, I think, uh, lip gloss lip stains, and they're both in the color Lucky. So I went to go look at both of them to compare them again, and I realized that they're not the same. So the first one I got is like mm, probably about this long, and the second one is substantially longer. The first one is oval and kind of just short and squat, and the second one is rectangular and longer like it's actually like a square shaped rather than round uh, I, I can't describe them like square but the first one is like a tan it's like a very yellowy nude and it's pretty light and the second one I don't know if you can tell and it's it's kind of uh, wearing down since I've been drinking uh, well no it's not in here anymore because it's put in the kitchen tea. I had tea. 
and so it's kind of come off a little bit. But this one is definitely a pinkier and darker and more cool toned lip gloss. So even though they're the same brand and te like supposedly the same color, they're definitely not the same so I don't know what's going on there um has my finger been over the mic the whole time that would be lame hopefully you guys can hear what I've been saying um so I don't know I actually like this one okay it's not too light see the first one was like it's way too yellowy and too light for me um but this one seems okay and it's definitely good for if I do minimal makeup days, like if I'm just wearing like mascara and lip gloss and stuff, then it'll be good. Today, I I obviously don't have foundation because you can still see this, um, but I did uh, concealer and then I uh, baked it with a translucent powder, which I haven't, I don't think I've used before. Normally if I bake it, I just use like a, just a nude face powder, uh, like a pressed powder. I can't remember what it's called. But I actually tried using one of my translucent powders that I've gotten in a box, and it seemed to work pretty well. Again, this... What is going on with the lighting? Really weird. It's, like, cool out there. But here, come on. <laughs> I keep going off on tangents. You can't see it as well today, uh, or in this camera, because it's not very good. But you can definitely tell in real life, like, that it my under eyes look lighter, and... Oh, cool. My pictures are, or my videos are finished uploading on my phone. I haven't been able to do anything on my phone because, uh, I feel like if I click off the app where the pictures are uploading, it doesn't work as well and it takes way, way longer or stops uploading. And yeah, so it's been annoying. Um, Andrew had a doctor's appointment at 4. It's 4.55, so I'm assuming he'll probably be home between 5 and 5.30, so about the same time as normal, as he normally would. Um... He went to a podiatrist because his foot has been hurting, um, like, really bad, and he needed to go. And he was going to go two Wednesdays ago, but then they were out of the office, and we couldn't go last week because we were in Washington. So, all this stuff, and he finally is able to go today. Um, so, hopefully he gets that figured out. I'm thinking he's probably going to have to do inserts or something. I probably need to, too, because I have, I need to go to a podiatrist as well. Um... But we're going out to dinner tonight. We're going to um, Ram's Head, I think is what it's called, McMenamin's. It's a, I think it's like a tavern, but they're, it's not 21 and over. They have like burgers and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to get. I want burger and fries. What was the place? I can't remember. I don't know if I talked about it in my vlog, so I'll probably have to ask Andrew. Um, we went to a place not too long ago that had really, really good fries. And I'm thinking it was Blue Moon or something like that, which I think might have also been in McMenamins. McMenamins is really, really popular around here. Like, all of the, uh, like, not all, but a ton of, like, bar-type restaurants where they have, like, burgers and fries and beer and stuff. Um, they... There's a ton that are associated with McMenamins, which I think is a beer. Um, but, like, they'll say on their, I don't know if it's on their menu, but, like, on their signs outside, it's, like, McMenamins Blue Moon, McMenamins Ram's Head, McMenamins da da da, -da. Um, And I don't really know much about it, um, but I know that it's at least starting to get sort of more popular in Washington. I think that there's going to be a McMenamins at, in Bothell, which, like, really close to where, um, Andrew and I went to school, um, we went to UW Bothell, and they're making it, like, a hotel and restaurant associated with that one brand, so it's really weird, and they're making it out of a, um, an old middle school, elementary school, maybe, so I'm really curious as to how that goes, um, but yeah, I'm excited to go out to dinner, I feel like we haven't gone out to dinner for a really long time, um, I don't know why. I think we've just spending our so been spending our social money on other things like going to movies or going to get coffee and it, we've gotten breakfast a couple times. So yeah, I think the last time we went out to dinner would have been did we go out? 
I don't know, I think we got maybe Mexican? Or maybe it was uh, when we went last, last, last time we were in Washington, like two times ago. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, I have to keep working on videos. I'm also editing a video for Geeky Chic. To go up, to go up tomorrow, it's, um... And MD's video. So I have to finish that and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye! It's like, 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 it's a little bit. I went from over here. That is look scary. <laughs> what a dark and stormy night. I need a flashlight. It doesn't move. That's really disappointing. <laughs> it's like screwed in there. Yeah. They're really worried about the ceiling. I guess. Or maybe just knocking it over. I think that's more probably what it is. There's this large crack in between. <laughs> We just ate burgers. I had a. I originally ordered a turkey burger with. <laughs> with like a cranberry relish and stuff on it, but they didn't have any turkey patties, so I got beef instead, which was still good. And then Andrew had basically like a bacon cheeseburger with an egg on it. Um, yeah, a Red Robin. I think they call it the Red Robin burger. Really? Ro no, the Red Ro Royal. It's a Royal Burger. Oh. Like Red I don't Robin know. Royal. Burger. I only ever get the Whiskey River Burger. Oh. Or the Whiskey yeah. River Burger. Although I think last time I got something different, which was really unusual for me. I got that, that spicy that one. Fiery, yeah. Mine had jalapeno something. Well, you got a spicy something, and then I got the spicier yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And that, that thing was too hot. Was it? Like raw jalapenos. I had a bite of it. You didn't get a raw jalapeno, I don't think. Oh, or maybe just like a that, little, that's little what bit did, one. That's what kept, kicked it over the edge. Got it. Anyways, yeah, this was yummy. I'm going to see if I can convince Andrew to go get something for dessert. Like Papa Hayden? I was thinking cheaper than that. Like Fred Meyer? Um, thank you. Oh, well, actually, here you go. I was thinking, like, a cruise truck, maybe? Is that cheaper? Yeah, Papa Hayden's? Yeah, Papa Hayden's is like eight bucks a person. Yeah, and if you get... Oh, six truffles? Yeah, it ends up being about eight to ten dollars. But total. Well, you, they have other things too. They have like uh, milkshakes and stuff like that. What would you get? I don't know. I want to look. If you don't want to do that, we don't have to. We can figure out something else. Ice cream is very cheap. That's yeah. what you wanted last night. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. So we got dinner, and then we got ice cream from Salt and Straw for dessert. That's full. And Andrew's full. He got peppermint hot chocolate. No, peppermint cocoa. Okay, peppermint cocoa. <laughs> it's totally I'm different. I'm so sorry. They're not the same thing at all. No. And I got bourbon pecan pie. Well, it does. Mine is mostly the bourbon ice cream with not a lot of pecan pie, though. But still good. Um, And, yeah, Andrew put the rest of his in the freezer because... He was getting full. <coughs> but yeah, dinner was yummy. And I'm not sure if it would necessarily be the first place that I'd go back to for a second time, but I would probably go back there again. But there's so many restaurants that we want to try in our area that it's it seems 
Oh, I think you got a sock. It seems silly to go to the same place twice unless it's amazing. You know? Well, yeah, but there's not as many dessert places anyways as there are places for dinner. Because in our area, we have Salt and Straw, we have Papa Hayden's, we have Moonstruck Cafe. Um, and they have, like, truffles and stuff. That was, Papa Hayden's known for That was clean. Oh, well, no, it's got in his mouth. Okay, well, you're going to not have a pair then. Dang it. <laughs> um, I would say probably, yeah. Darcy, get I, out. I would say that Papa Hayden's is probably known for the desserts. Um, I think they have probably really good dinner, and I think drinks, too. But that's where we're going for my birthday dinner. So, hopefully they have good dinner and drinks, because it's my 21st birthday. I don't, I don't know if I'm really going to... I'm probably not going to drink very much, if anything. Like, I'll get one drink, and then have, like, two sips, and then give the rest to Andrew. Pretty sure that's how that's going to... how that's going to play out. But that's what usually happens. Andrew got a beer at dinner today. It's Chris Kringle. It was a Christmassy one. That's why I got it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> My, uh... A holiday cheer is rubbing off on you. It rubbed off on me back in November. <laughs> but I mean, it's still going. So that's good. Um, but he didn't like it very much because it was really dark. I ended up liking it. Oh, you did? Yep. Never mind. You just had to get used to it? Yep. Okay. We watched It's a Wonderful Life last night, except for Andrew went to bed like 20 minutes in. I saw the important scene. Which one? The, uh,. Or the, the quintessential scene, the uh, the last of the moon. Oh, that's not the only important scene. There's tons of important scenes. Uh, I feel I feel that's the one. I don't know. One of those scenes, memorable, especially memorable. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I would consider the most important or memorable scene. Um, I don't know. I think the uh, Zuzu's petals scene is pretty important. Also the bank when he gives away their honeymoon money. Hmm. When they first get their house. I don't know. I really like the whole movie. The whole movie's uh, important and quintessential. Every time the bell rings. Yeah, I think that actually might be the most. That might be the the quintessential line. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess so. And every time I say it, I have to say it, like in that voice. I can't just think of the <laughs> line. And so when I hear her say it in that movie, it doesn't even sound like it's part of the movie. It sounds almost like someone is copying it and saying it because of that voice is so. It seems like it sticks out as odd, almost. Like if you, um, what was it that we were talking about? Oh, in Home Alone, when the thoughts of people, like, calling him a jerk and stuff. Yeah, like the memories. Yeah, the memories like, are going through his yeah. head. So, like, before, uh, we see that scene, when we're actually seeing those lines delivered, it seems, like, fake. You feel me? He feels me. Okay, well, I'm going to eat my ice cream.